<laughs> Hello. I'm working on the 116 Tora Tiger and I've been working on the tracks and the wheels. As you can see I'm doing um, some mud work on, on them and that. I mean I've had to take some compromises with this because it's a moving vehicle. So this stuff will wear back and reveal more of the metal that I've cleaned off as it's being used so it should work quite nice and it should naturally accumulate dirt when it's being used so that'll be okay I mean, have you done this with like plaster and oil washes and some um, AK, no, sorry some MIG products and AK products but that's um, where we're at at the moment with that I might flip the side over in a minute and do a quick walk through if I would do uh, mud work on tracks anyway that's that so I'll see you in a sec okay I'm going to show you how I'd um, work on muddying up these wheels and the tracks now as I said with this this is like an art remote control project so you can't really go crazy on it I mean the three main products we're using for the mud, not so much the dust at the moment, but are the AK Earth FX, MIGS, Dark Mud, and I use the dust as well. Um, I'll be using some lightweight hydrocal, a bit of oil paint, some standard oil paint, and a couple of old brushes. So just mix the foot with your airbrush. I've given a base red coat, I've chipped it, I've highlighted a few points with a little ink wash, with a little oil wash, sorry. And now uh, what I want to do is just fill up here with mud that's just dried mud and sort of dried mud on the wheels like. So basically what I do is the first colour I'll use and I'll use the earth effects. This is the base colour I use for the other one. Now I've, I've tried this with pigments and other stuff mixing in and now I find that I find if you use the enamel washes then the colour the plaster better and I colour it through you use a lot of pigment well that's what I found when last time I tried plaster so I'm just going to pour them in a mountain there so I have to pour loads in it's got a fair amount in the bottom just to give it the colour I'll get my plaster. Just a bit in there. Put my plaster in. I'll just mix it in. You see, that's still that's quite thick. That'd be good if you wanted to cake something in. What you just want to do is just to get it to bind. And get it to colour and then what I'll do is because we're running a bit loose and that I'll just add some thinners to it which is just normal pound stuff you don't want to use it it's in a fancy tin I used to use um, I've got some good stuff as well I've just filled it into that tin because it's easy to use bits from the pound shop now I've mixed that into more of a paste, into more of a loose paste. I'm going to put a little bit more plaster in there. Just a little bit thicker. Pop a bit more in. Oh, do me. Doing good mixing so you get a nice paste. Well, I'm just going to zoom the camera in a sec. Zoom in more onto the wheel sections. I'm going to see. Okay. It's pretty simple. Let's get your airbrush. Get your mix. Try not to lift the too much on the brush because it will go everywhere and start. You want a lot of control with it. Just start it. Brush it in until you've cleaned the brush off. 
and you want to put it where it had splashed to, which is the undertow, all the undersides. And it just gives it a nice bit of detail that it's got a lot of dried mud on it from being in use. I can spray it up off the track. And I'm trying to leave a few of these little bolts in there clear because um, the person wants to actually fix any of the parts they've got to get back into it. And I'll just cake it in. Let it spray and let it settle itself. Just fill it up nice. And you start to get like a stippled mud effect. And a lot of this you won't see because the, the skirtings it out of it I just think it looks nice and one thing I did forget to do before I did this was silver rim the wheels so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly do that pause the video and quickly sponge all the wheel of him silver how there would be from um, constant track use I'll be back in a second Okay, as you can see, I've silver rimmed the wheels a bit. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so you can see more. So, I've silver rimmed the wheels, how they would be if I was working tank tracks. And all I'm going to do again is the same as I did earlier, but on the wheels. And just do it gently, little bursts. Spray, some in the mud. It would splatter just onto the wheel. Can be quite quite liberal with this. I'm not putting heat on because as I said, this is a moving. This vehicle's going to move, so you don't really want. Absolute tons of honour. And if you get some just drop off as well, I'll just airbrush it a little bit. Because the trick is to, to build it up in passes like. And you can get quite a realistic looking mud splatter. Still add more to the underside as well. Front wheel, get the to take in, try and fill up a few of the little sections and the grooves in the tracks and the wheels. And just it's, it's as well, it's weathering's a very sort of personal thing, it's however you like, I'm done, do you know what I mean? No wrong, well, there is wrong ways and there is right ways, but I think heavy weathering is definitely a personal preference. Because sometimes less is more, you know what I mean? So I'll just mix some, instead of wasting it. The worst thing as well about this is nobody's really going to stay under here that much. But I know, so I like to to fill them up. I know it's not done. So I've got to do it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to give it a quick hair dryer. 
blast it over. See, started to give you a dry chalky effect. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make another mix of dark mud. So, say again, just pour in some of your, your thinner, your um, enamel wash, and put the lids on. More plaster. Just pop it in there. Same um, again, mix her in. And I'm not even going to put any thinner in this one because this one's a nice enough mix as it is. So, same again. Just an airbrush. Quite a bit on this, it's going to be a nice big splodgy bit. And find a section that you want to dust up. In. What this does is it just gives it contrast. Now between the dark and the light mods, you use it as a bit of a shadow in effect, the dark in some areas. And hit the wheels. as well I'm just gonna move that just to one side for a second it's hard to do on there it is I'm gonna hit my tank track in the same way so I'll just flip over my tank track I'm gonna add a little bit of thinners for this because I want this a little bit thinner for the tracks because the tracks are moving links so I don't want it to um, clog up too much. I just want it to kind of fill areas and give it give it the dust. Messy process, you might want to put some paper down. As you can see, it doesn't phase me, but this is a dedicated work area for stuff. And I'll just clean them down after. Just blow it all around into the gaps. And what we're trying to create here is just like muddy patches, dry mud, and that on the actual tracks. I'm going to leave the underside because it's not going to be as dirty because it's it's been rubbing on the wheels and stuff. I might while I'm here just hit a little bit in there. 
just so it looks nice. I know you're never going to see that. Might as well put this material on if I go. Got it really mixed. Okay, so I'm just going to get a hair dryer on this again. Speed it up so you can see. Okay, it's not quite dry there yet. I'll let that dry for a second. And what I'm going to do is just clean the silver rim of the wheels. So, let's get a bit of tissue. Put some white spirit on it. That's it, got a bit dripped on my tank there, but that not matter. And literally just, just wipe the wheels down where and the main pulleys where there wouldn't be any um, mud just clean them off just sort of smell she wouldn't have mud on the running tracks on the rims you know what I mean I might be discoloured. They would definitely not have mud on them. Then you want to clean it all off. Kind of what you got, some clean rims with some mud on. Now I'm just going to hit the hair dryer up again. So just want to hit this little section here. So if well, what I want to do now is I just want to hit this one with some earth effects on top of that one so I'll mix another little batch get some plaster in it Same again with the airbrush. Sorry, I want a tiny little bit in there. Just loosen it a bit.
bit on this track as well, while I'm on it. Give it more town. Find its balance as well, get the, get the mud up to the same, find a consistency across the tracks. So, I'm just going to get the hairdryer back out. got that section hair bird so what I'm going to do this side I'll do on the model things in. Oh, fiddly these are. Couldn't imagine changing one of these on a real battlefield. In the middle of bloody battle. How fiddly is this? Oh, 
There we go. Track pin in. A little tap. And, and there we go. There's some muddy wheels. And then decide I'll stop this and I'll take the camera off and I'll film it properly. Up close, so two six. That this is finished effect check out. And the tracks look nice and dusty. Nice and muddy. And just give it a little varnish off then you can see in there. That it's all nice and crusty. So that's a little tutorial. Now what I will do now is I'll probably go with a little bit of oils and just highlight some of the nuts and areas that I want a bit dirtier and things like that. But generally, and I'll hit it with a light on the inside of the track, but clean most of it off because you don't want it. So anyway, that's a little tutorial on how I do mud work. So not much to it, quite straightforward and you get quite a nice effect. So anyways, take care.